Okay, we have two integrations on the spot. And notice for the second one, we have this x on the top, and for the first one, we just have a 1. And the denominators are the same thing, right? Square root of 1 minus x squared. But anyway, please pause the video and try to do the easier one first. All right, so it depends. Hmm, which one should I do first? If you have been doing u substitution a lot, you might say this right here is easier because we have the x on the top to help us out, right? And I will agree with you guys, so let me do this one right here first. So let me just let u equal the inside function, which is 1 minus x squared, and then differentiate both sides. I get du equals to, the derivative of this is negative 2x, dx, and isolating the dx, I get dx equals to du over negative 2x. And now let's take this integral to the u world. We have the integral on the top is still x over, this is square root of u, and then the dx is this, namely du over negative 2x. And we see that the x cancel each other out nicely, so we are completely inside of the u world. That's good. And I will do a few things. The first thing is that I will look at the 1 over negative 2 and bring that to the front because that's just a constant multiple. So negative 1 half in the front. And then the integral. And then the second thing I will do is, this is 1 over square root of u. Remember, square root is like the same as 1 half power, but this is in the denominator, so I'm going to bring that up. I will look at that as u to the negative 1 half power. Once again, the square root in the denominator becomes the negative 1 half power right here. And we are still in the u world. And we are ready to integrate this by the power rule, but you have to do it backwards. So I will first add 1 to this, and negative 1 half plus 1 is positive 1 half. Let me put that down right here. Positive 1 half, we have to divide it by this new power, divided by positive 1 half, it's the same as multiplying by 2 over 1. So we'll see. This and that pretty much cancel out, but we have negative. And let me just show you, 1 half and 2 over 1 cancel out. And we have u to the 1 half power. And that's pretty much it for the integration step. I just have to plug in this back to the u, and I will write this down as negative. I will write this down as a square root, and the u is 1 minus x squared, and we are done. So I'll put a plus c right here. That's it. And now you might be wondering, how can we do the first one? Because we don't have any x on the top. Hmm, so is this so much more difficult? But no, in fact, this right here is so much easier because the answer to this is just the inverse sine x plus c like this. You just have to know your derivative table really, really well. The derivative of this gives you that, so that's it.